The Free Senior High School since inception has primarily been funded with resources from the country's oil revenue. Many analysts have argued that Ghana's financing model is unsustainable with an average of a billion Ghana cities of oil revenue spent on the policy annually. Economist Dr. Edu Wususakwadi suggested different ways by which government could raise the needed revenue. Aggressive collection of property rates and levying of additional taxes on the extractive sector are some of the proposals he made. Ghana's GDP is estimated, estimated to be 599 billion cities this year. So let's say about 600 billion Ghana cities. 2%, only 2% of the 600 billion Ghana cities is 12 billion cities. So even if we take a look at just the property rate, the revenue from the property rate, 2% of GDP this year, if we were serious as a country to provide funding for free SHS, we can raise 12 billion cities out of the property rate. Ghana is the number one producer of gold in Africa. Last year, we produced $6.6 .6 billion of gold, not million, B billion dollars of gold, just one year. Ghana is number one. How can the number one producer of gold in Africa not be able to find money to finance free SHS? Dr. Sarkodie also suggested that access to the policy should be tied to the payment of taxes. The use of tin as a requirement to enjoy free SHS. Tin, as a country, we should not run away from tax payment. Even if you have to pay one city, pay it, show your tin. If you want your child to enjoy free SHS, which has been financed by other sources, show your tin before we admit your child. 